when Mizoram achieved the status of a union territory on the 21st January 1972, power was vested on the Mizoram Legislative Assembly and Assam was bifurcated, sensing an opportunity that the new UT government will likely be taking initiative in furtherance of college education in rural areas, some prominent citizens of Sertip, headed by Mr. Tang Tsuanga, the then Vice President of Sertip Village Council, approached Mr. Vai Venga, Education Minister of the time, regarding the demand to open a private college that could facilitate easy access to higher education for the younger generations of Sertip and the adjoining villages. The college began as a joint endeavour of enthusiastic citizens of Sertip and Siatlang as leaders of both villages joined hands and started the first managing board on 2nd November 1972 to undertake necessary initiatives. The managing board and the people of both villages stood firm in their joint venture and accordingly, a series of fundraising drives were undertaken through public donations, charitable contributions of dedicated men, auctioning of lands and firm sites. When the money procured through various sources amounted to 7,000 rupees, the managing board boldly decided to open the college the following year. Government Sertip College was officially started on the 25th August 1973 by Mr. Tso Tsunga, the then Honorable Chief Minister of Mizoram. It all began here from this vacation. The fascinating stories of Government Sertip College started in 1973 here at Sertip Town Hall that gathered the very first batch of the students. Today, an imposing Sertip indoor stadium at this place. During the first year, classes were conducted at Sertip Town Hall in the evenings from 6 to 8 p.m. during summer and 4.30 to 7.30 p.m. in the winter since most of the students available were office workers. Mr. H. D. Rosanga, a lecturer from Union Christian College, Burapani, Shillong, was invited to act as the founding principal. The community hall where the first classes were held was so old and dilapidated that even pigs, cows and goats took shelter by night. The basic necessary equipments needed for teaching were borrowed from the existing schools in the village, blackboards from middle school and chairs and tables from high school. Community work called Natang was carried out numerous times where residents of Sertip and Siatlang came out voluntarily for joint public work preparing the site for the construction of Government Sertip College Campus. As is clearly evident in the photographs, the pioneers of Government Sertip College were none other than the laymen, the ordinary residents of Sertip and Siatlang villages. The people rolled up their sleeves to help out in the good cause. They had no money or education to boast of, but the love and commitment they have for their community and their humble vision of building something worthwhile for the future generations united them. Back in 1975, the whole area where the college campus now stands was still a virgin forest, unoccupied and untouched by human activity. Land was to be cleared for what will eventually become one of the most spectacular college campuses in Mizoram, rich in natural scenery and exquisite landscaping. The founding fathers of Government Sertip College were the village council members of Sertip, who served from 1972 to 1975. Sadly, many of them are no more. We wish they would have lived here to see how the college has developed and how the present generation reaps the fruit of the seed they have sowed. The new campus of Government Sertip College was inaugurated with a grand ribbon cutting ceremony in 1976 by Utsotsuma. 
the then Honorable Chief Minister of Mizoram. The main gate of the college was built on this very spot. This is where Government Sergeant College has its first campus. The place has transformed considerably with the passing years, and today, as we can see, the place is now occupied by well-designed modern academic buildings. Some of the new buildings are well on the way and construction will likely be completed within a few months. Back in 1976, the building was used as the main office of the college, housing both the principal's office as well as the lecturer's common room. It was later used as a classroom, a gymnasium, and eventually demolished for construction of the new academic building. Welcome to the library, the storehouse of knowledge and information for the students and teachers alike. In 1975, Government Sertip College was affiliated to Northeastern Hill University, Shillong. Then, on 1 January 1989, the college was provincialized. Subsequently, it was affiliated to Mizoram University in 2001. With a humble beginning, the college gradually grew in terms of student enrollment, staff and infrastructure. Despite its inception with only art stream, the college now offers traditional courses in arts, sciences and Bachelor of Computer Applications with a total of 13 departments. The college campus offers a calm and nurturing space for learning and boasts of untrammeled lush foliage, giving students, staff and residents alike an opportunity to rejuvenate with nature. The atmosphere within the college campus is kept alive and vibrant by the residents of the 11 staff quarters and one boys' hostel. The establishment of a huge indoor stadium, basketball court and volleyball court also offer sports enthusiasts a chance to engage in a healthy environment, simultaneously making games and sports an integral part of a student's life. Apart from sports, the indoor stadium hosts several important events throughout the year. The annual college week, organized by the Students' Union, is one of the highly anticipated events for the students. The college also encourages formation of student clubs under the guidance of the teaching staff. There are several activities that focus on different interests of students in the form of student organizations and clubs. The College Unit of the National Service Scheme, NSS, is the most active and prominent among the existing clubs or societies. The dynamic collaboration of students and teachers involved is clearly evident through the vibrant and notable activities and programs throughout the year, providing fresh perspectives for students through volunteer work and philanthropic contributions. The existence of 12 other clubs, such as Drugs Awareness Club, Charity Club, Red Ribbon Club, Literature Club, Cultural Club, Electoral Literacy Club and Legal Literacy Club, Photography Club, Eco Club, Wildlife Protection Club, Gardening Club and the Adventure Club offers many opportunities for students to have new experiences in addition to their studies and social life. Students are offered a wide range of opportunity to join any club of their interest through which they can share, develop networking and leadership skills as they expand their experiences and connect with other like-minded students. At present, the college has 57 teaching staff, 15 non-teaching staff, and caters nearly 500 students. The college actively organizes seminars, workshops, conferences and trainings at various levels, international, national and state levels, which is undeniably a result of a supportive and collaborative environment among the teaching faculty. On 8 January 2011, the college was accredited with a B grade status and re-accredited with a B plus grade in 2016 by the National Assessment and Accreditation Council. 
The college, to this day, has unfailingly held its motto, Seek and Find, as it continues its journey in educating young minds, empowering and encouraging them to be better and engaged citizens.